Today we're gonna be answering all y'all guys questions that y'all guys had on Instagram and I went ahead and saved them on my phone. This video is just gonna be for you guys. What's your next car? Is Miata or an Integra? Why do we not talk anymore? Just never had time. Do you love me? Yes. Yes, I do. How do I become a Dep Chai like you? If you guys don't know, Dep Chai means handsome and Vietnamese. What you talking about? I'm just an average looking dude. You know what I'm saying? You are more sexy though, Carter. Favorite P star, aka Corn Star. I do uh, only mans, guys. So if you guys want to support that, down below. <laughs> Why is the Civic so slow? It's because I'm broke. <laughs> no man, give me that car. Money does talk. How much did you buy the Civic? A lot of people don't believe me, but I bought the Civic for three Gs. Oh, I almost missed. He says, uh, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, bro. When Turbo don't man. Turbo is coming soon. I'm still trying to get the supporting mods for it. What type of engine do you have? I have a D16Z6. Where do you buy the C? The C? The Civic? Facebook. Any tips for first modding a car? Have some friends, look up on YouTube, and you'll be on your way. That, I mean, that's how I did it. <laughs> a lot of people don't know this. I am, well, obviously you can't tell on camera, but 5'8 on a bad day, 5'9 on a good day with Air Forces. Why is the Honda so fire? Hey, I appreciate you. I think uh, it still has a long way to go, my boy. What got you in the cars? Honestly, uh, GTA. Where is your A90 Super? Oh my God, bro. Where have you been? This has almost been two years. Sold. Why do you live in Arkansas? Because why not? Born and raised. Can I see your willy? On Only Man, subscribe now, down below. <laughs> Best and worst thing, having a Civic. Best thing is the fuel economy. Worst thing about the Civic, slow. Can make any car fast as long as you got money. Is the Civic engine the same as an old Accord? No, I think the old Accords are F series. A gay son or a thought daughter? Gay son for sure. I ain't trying to deal with no STD girl. When will the Civic get twin turbos? When it got money. <laughs> when is a future type R coming? Bro, honestly, when I get money. <laughs> I feel like these are the same questions asked. Massive fan of driving videos. Would you upload more like cruising in the Honda? Definitely for sure driving videos when it's turbo. Favorite mod and would you own an EF? Oh yeah, I would. Favorite mod, probably uh suspension. I like my car low. Should I boost or is it not worth the gas mileage going down? Well, I don't know. I mean, I've seen some cars go boost and they save pretty good on gas. I think it just depends on the tuner. VTEC is everything. Yes, VTEC is everything. If you don't know what VTEC or haven't experienced it, don't talk. Would you ever take the Civic to a track day? No, yeah, for sure I would. When did you get your car? Uh, a year and a half ago. If not a Civic, what would would you have? Ooh, Acura or 350 or maybe like FRS. Another question, this is literally the second one. It says, are you gay? Yeah, gay for you. Up or down? Up. <laughs> oh man, oh man, my guy. Why did you sell Supra? Bro, I went broke. <laughs> How much did it cost for your paint job, material, and labor? For me, because my dad owns a body shop, I had the paint job for free. What was your first dream car? Honestly, the first dream car was honestly the Supra. Is D-Series bad to start for Hondas? Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, they're pretty reliable. Does it jiggle? Hell! What's one car that you previously owned and that you miss the most? The Tension SI. Um, that thing was super reliable, quick, had a lot of stuff done to it. There's been a lot of with history and plus I think that's the Civic that kind of brought me with social media wise here I am today. Why Honda? Honda because, you know, they're so good. I mean, when it comes to reliability, affordability, modifications, the community behind it, it's so well done. It's like, it's kind of hard not to, you know what I'm saying? VTech baby. <laughs> Would you get an HMSI for a next project or build? Yeah, no, I would love to. I've had a couple friends that own them. The only problem is, is like finding a good one for a good deal. Bro says, how big is it? Hey, yo, please make long vids. I can't get enough. No, man. More long vids coming soon. What is the best engine swap for a Honda Civic? K-Series. Bro says, VTEC again, yo. What do you think about the RSX Type S? They're pretty good for power. A lot of people like to take those motors actually and swap them into EGs. EKs, they're really good. So what happened to the K swap? It's no longer happening. It's just because the due to the previous companies I was working with. How much have you invested the car? Oof, probably a couple grand. <laughs> oh man, daddy. What's your preferred seating position? I get in the car and I do one of these. Call it the low rider position. Build tour. If I do a build tour, it would take too long. But if you guys want to see that, I will definitely do that. Do you pull women with your car? Hell no. Favorite Honda motor? <sighs> The L series, that has a sweet spot in my heart. What's the most complicated situation you ever had with your car? Ooh, probably the time when my control arm ejected out. Should I buy a Honda? Yes, you should. What's your car name and how much it power? Um, the car that I named the hatch is Jazzy because it's white 
Reminds me of Jasmine Rice. How much power does it make? Thousand horsepower, obviously. What does it feel like when VTEC kicks in? Pretend we're in the car like this, and when I hit VTEC over 5,000, it's gonna go. <sighs> That's what VTEC looks like. Why can you not be black? Huh? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, VTEC. Are you Sigma? Does that make me Sigma? <laughs> Favorite mods you've ever done to the Civic? Wheels and tires, for sure. Oh, man. EG or EK Hatch? EK. Who from the car community inspired you to get in cars and make content about? Admiral Z, TJ Hunt, Eliminate. Can we dance in the car? Of course you can. Pretend we're in the car. Body rocking to the house tonight. Anything's possible. Do you think you're ever gonna sell your Civic? I'm not saying mine is the cleanest, but it's definitely getting harder to find a clean chassis in general that is not beat up, so uh, not anytime soon. Can you drift? I cannot. I could do donuts though. How did your first Civic SI got stolen? Keys were stolen from me, and that's how they stole the car. It got wrecked, and the uh, rest was history, unfortunately. Do you like H Day, and would you plan on going again? Oh yeah, for sure. What's your job? This. Are you proud of where you at today, and if you could change one thing, what would it be? I love deep questions like this. I would say no. I don't think I'm proud of myself and that's just because I'm not where I'm at, where I want to be. One thing I would change about myself, sometimes I kind of think impulsively sometimes, so I would say that's something I would change. I want to try Bill EK. What are some websites you could recommend? Rock Auto for restoring your OEM parts and then modification wise, eBay. How much should you buy a Civic for? 2500 to 3500 Quincy says, do you miss the blue side? Oh yeah. Sometimes I think about it every once in a while. And I honestly, I think that's the car I miss the most. And that's what kind of brought me into the social media space. What state you seen at, Honda boy? You represent an AR Arkansas, you feel me? Your car look like Kia Morning. Huh? Kia yeah, Morning. Let me look that up. Ain't no way. My car looks like this. A Kia Morning. Okay, let's be real. My car looks a little bit better at night. So can we call it a Kia goodnight? <laughs> Another question. Are you gay? Oh my God. How many gay jokes are there? Do I look gay? Will Specs, 15 by 8. Another person says, are you Okay. God damn. Do you like Euro cars? Actually, I do. Can you do a flip? Oh, fuck. What do I do if I have a very bad engine? Sell it. K-series or B-series? K-series. How fast will your car go? I think the most I hit in it was like 100. <laughs> I think that's the fastest it'll go. Favorite car? I know this is every typical guy's answer, but uh, GT4 RS or GT3 RS? Those those cars are just so sexy. Another question says, is you gay? God damn, guys. This is like the fourth or fifth question of it. Is you gay? This is concerning. ED says, Boba date. If so, let me know. On my way, bro. What type of shoes do you like? Oh, honestly, anything that looks good. What is your message for a younger enthusiast who's getting into the game? Uh, don't care what no one thinks. A lot of people are gonna hate on you. A lot of people are like, don't get this, don't get that. It's too competitive. Buy what you like and do the stuff that you like to do with the car. Would you imagine yourself being this big four, three years ago? No, man. Hey, yo. Honestly, not. I think I still have a long ways to go. At the end of the day, I'm trying to prove a point to have multiple cars and a house. And I think that's everyone's dream. But I always wanted to give back to my family because my parents are from Vietnam. And, you know, when they came here, they had no money. They were basically broke. Having them come over here means a lot to me. So when I reach that one point, one day of wealth, I also want to give back to them and show how much I love them. But also as well as like give back to y'all guys uh, when I do get to the top. Never really thought I would be here. Um, but that is really honestly thanks to y'all guys. I'm not trying to be no cringe YouTuber that says that. But it's honestly true. What do you think about Nissans? Nissans are cool. FK8 or F05? Uh, I would say FK8. What is the best first car? Honestly, Toyota Corolla, Honda Civic. My Miata versus your slowest car, who wins? I think you already won, bro. I barely make over 100. <laughs> How did you feel when you got your first car? Honestly, I was ungrateful. You know, when I got my first car, I was like, man, this is not the one I want. I didn't really, was really happy about the car, but at the end of the day, I was glad that I had something to drive. To buy any car in general, it takes a lot of money to, you know, maintain, but also to get. And I think I didn't understand at that time, but for sure now when I look back on it, I'm thankful now for sure. I think back then, if you asked me, uh, I wouldn't. Will you tent the Civic? Yes, I will. Uh, it's getting hotter in the summer right now, so I uh, definitely need it. Can you suck it? Okay, are these questions about cars or are these questions for only mans? <laughs> Can you touch me if I give consent? Wait, what? What camera do you use for content? I use the ZV-E10 or my phone. Summer goals and car goals. Summer goals, be more fit. Car goals, I would say uh, try to get another project car for sure. God damn. I'm not making this up, literally. The, the, I'm literally not making this up, bro. What other Hondas you like? I like all Hondas. How big is your gat? 
this big. VW or Honda? Honda. You like Latinas or Asian girls? But what kind of air fresheners do you run? The, the ones from Walmart. What do you think about Hmong people and Hmong girls? Actually, I had a lot of supporters that came up to me each day that were Hmong and uh, Hmong girls. Yeah, I mean, they, they seem cool for the most part, I would say. What wheel are you running? The Gram Lights. Yeah! How was the process of selling your Supra and getting the Civic? Honestly, dude, I felt like I had my shoulders lifted off of me, had no more debt to pay off. So uh, for sure, it felt amazing. <laughs> What's the best meet you ever been to and why? Uh, creators meet back in 2022 because we got 20, 30 creators during that time that were big on TikTok and we put them all in one place to grab Boba and see all the nice built cars. So I think that was definitely a vibe for sure. That was probably one of the best meets I've ever experienced. Are reps acceptable in society? Oh yeah, of course. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people diss on them. No, if I didn't have a lot of money too, I would run reps too. Let's just be honest. Like we do not got money to be paying for real wheels. I mean, real wheels are literally four to five grand. That is literally a down payment for a new car or buying a used car. What do you think of Kraftwerk Supercharger for the Civic Asai? Oh no, I think they're dope. They sound cool too. You should do another date show. Oh, no worries. Another one coming on the way, my guy. Any advice for future car people to start YouTube like you or TikTok? Honestly, you're just going to have to do it. You're just going to have to start one day or day one. You need to be able to discipline and have some persistence in yourself in order to start from day one. Because the sooner you start now, the faster you could start your next chapter in life. That business is too competitive. Oh, that niche is too saturated. Well, the real thing is, it's like most people that say that have never really experienced it or have really gotten to the level that you are. Don't always focus on innovating something new. Try to innovate something that's already been done and improve on it what makes it better. Whether that's a product, a business, or something that is a skill that you can improve on. I was the same guy who got doubted. I was the same guy that felt like I was useless in the world. Like I was, I was, I was gonna be a bum. I was one of them people. A lot of people didn't believe in me. A lot of people didn't understand the vision. People thought I was crazy. But I got one of these. And as soon as they saw that, their mindset has changed completely different. And I'm not saying I'm the biggest top shot in the world. I came from no money. When the time when I started, I did all this stuff for free. Oh yeah, I always believed in you. I knew you always had it. I knew you could do it. A lot of friends I had to get rid of. And because they want to support me, I dropped them. You're going to be the person that becomes the people that you surround yourself with. So be careful of who you surround yourself with. Think about this. A lot of things this year could change. But the best thing that can change is yourself. Is a car being riced out even a thing or is it just hate? Honestly, I think it's kind of a thing. It just depends on what car it is. Opinion on the Z32 restoration project. Honestly, I love them. They look cool. They look clean. I got a picture of me and you when we look so good in Texas 2K. Hey, shout out to you, my boy. Are you gay? <laughs> it went from deep questions to now the jokes. <laughs> What got you in the cars doing YouTube and etc. During that time it was COVID so it was hard to get a job. So I worked for my dad for a little bit and while I was working for him I started doing just TikTok. I, w I did weird dances, I did personal advice and stuff like that and nothing really hit. During that time a video was trending, is that a Supra? Is that an NSX? And because that video was kind of blowing up during that time we were like oh, well why don't we try to make a video that is similar to that but in Vietnamese. And during that time I didn't even feel like even making a video, I just got off work that day and I just wanted to install my, you know, my car part that day. He was like, come on, let's do it, let's do it. And I was like, you know what, let's do it. We started running around the car, speaking in Vietnamese, you know, I, I ain't gonna lie, it was, it was pretty fun to do. And uh, I didn't really think much of it. After we did that video, put a little bit of captions on it, nothing too crazy. I let that video sit overnight after I post it and literally the first night it hit over like half a million views. After like a whole week it spanned like a whole two, two, three million views. And I always did YouTube before but I never did YouTube seriously. Definitely TikTok inspired me and that's how I did every social media now. What is a mod that you regret on your Civic? <sighs> Final rap. <laughs> Would you ever consider racing for a team if they asked you to? Oh yeah, no, for sure. I think that would be dope. What's your IP address? 911. Where is your passenger princess at? Shh. Somewhere in Canada. <laughs> what motivates you to do this type of content? Not only it's fun to do, but it's to also prove people wrong. A lot of family and friends uh, doubted me in the past. That's kind of like the biggest goal and I want to be at the top and I want to be the best and not saying I'm the best right now, but I do want to be there show people like yo like you doubted me and i've done it thoughts on takeovers i mean takeovers or takeovers sliding in the intersection hitting people i mean it's unsafe you know i used to be 
that guy that goes to take over. I thought it was a good thing for the culture, for the car culture, but it wasn't the case. Eventually I stopped as soon as I found out like, you know, uh, takeovers weren't really good for the scene. It does that. I do not condone it, but uh, it ruins the scene, I feel like. Do you have any life advice for someone going through it? Honestly, think about this. You were a different person four years ago than you were now. So what does that make anything different that you can't go through now than back then? Four years ago, you were a different person. The way how you think, the way how you eat, the way how your routine is. And don't hope to God that, oh, it's gonna pass through. Oh, someone's gonna come save me. To be real, no one is really gonna save you. No one is really gonna help you. Not even your parents, not even your friends. You're gonna have to deal with it on your own because at the end of the day, you're the one who's feeling this type of way. Trying is the best thing that you could do because the thing is, it's like if you don't try, then you 100% not move forward in life. You won't get through the stuff that you need to be. So you always need to put your 100% forward no matter if you even fail throughout life. Hope this helps out. That's more like a serious question, but I like deep questions like this, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. Some of them were very similar, so I apologize for any of y'all guys that didn't make it to the video. I wouldn't be the man I am today here because of you guys. And I'm not trying to be some motivational cringe YouTuber that says, cause almost every YouTuber says this, but it's honestly true. A lot of you guys will probably click off of this video, but something that I gotta say is just keep in focus, keep in line. A lot of people are gonna doubt you. People are gonna hate on you. People are gonna say it's too competitive. People are gonna say it's too saturated. You can't do this, you can't do that. We got something to prove. Prove them wrong. Do what you need to do. Be disciplined. Be resilient. Be persistent. Keep doing what you need to do. Whatever the case is, whether that's me an engineer, a lawyer, a YouTuber, a musician, a rapper, a streamer, whatever the case is, you can do it. Start from day one instead of saying one day I'll have it. No, you start from day one and you improve throughout the year.